One of the big problems when you're going through chemo or any kind of treatment for cancer is that sometimes the smells are just too much. I'm going to make some fish today en papillot, which is actually in a bag. And it's a great way of cooking fish without, without any odor, without the smell. And it tastes absolutely excellent. So we're going to be using tilapia fillets today. And we're going to be making a miso marinade. I'm just going to take a little bit of white miso. There's several different sorts of miso. But generally speaking, the more deep the color of the miso, the stronger the taste. Ah, oh, this is good. Sometimes the limes can be a bit dry. We're going to beat this in. You don't want it to be too thick, but it's just got to be a little creamier looking than it was just now. Okay. Now we're just going to put the fillets of fish in there. This is one of the ones where you can get your hands dirty. Oops. Rub it in a little bit. Now we're going to start building the packets. I'm going to line the foil packets with parchment. We're going to start with a little bit of shallot, a little bit of ginger, a little bit of garlic. If you like it spicy, a little bit of jalapeno. This is toasted sesame oil. Absolutely delicious. It'll give a lot of taste. Some scallions and a slice of tomato. And a little bit of... That's a little bit of garlic we just put on top. Now I'm just going to lay the fish on top of that. And let's do it again. Yeah, this is a jalapeno, another bit of garlic. A little bit of scallion and ending up with some tomato. So last but not least we're going to put on a sprig of cilantro. The good thing to remember is not to make the packets too tight because they're going to make steam while they're cooking. The packet, the pack will end up being a little bit like a giant empanada. Okay. Now I'm going to leave a little hole at the end here. And I'm just going to put half a teaspoon of, of soy sauce. I always use a cap to measure teaspoons in if I haven't got a measure handy. I mix it into this, which is a little bit of white wine, which you don't really have to use unless you really want to. About half of it. Okay. And then finish sealing it up. Just make sure that everything's tight. Okay, and here we have dinner for two ready for the oven. Just bake it at 400 degrees for about 10 to 15 minutes and it's done. Et voila, dinner. <laughs>